what's up everybody, Tech Checker here and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the final of the four Loyal Subjects BST Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reviews. This is the Michelangelo. If you didn't already know, I've been complaining on and on about how Amazon hasn't been getting me my last figure very quickly, but I should acknowledge it's taken me forever to get all of my reviews up. So you know what? I think I should give Amazon a little bit of slack. With that, let's not waste any more time giving any slack. Let's take a look at this action figure, the last one, Michelangelo. And I have to say, it actually looks really good. I, I'm not really loving this almost sea green look. Although it also kind of looks cool. It's kind of nice that it looks different. And even better, the sculpt is very different from the other three. And that much I love as well. He's very thin, kind of like Donatello is quite thin, and it just looks really good. He has very nice sculpt work on him. There's really nothing to complain about when it comes to the sculpt work. Everything looks great. The shell looks awesome. It's unique. We've got nice details in the back of the head. The wraps look awesome. The biggest complaint is gonna be the same complaint that they've all had, and that is the lack of paint. I'm going to customize mine. I started with Raphael already, and I think it's looking good so far. I still need to clean it up. You can see his chest compared to Donnie, or uh, Michelangelo's considerably dirtier now, but I need to clean it up just a little bit. So paint-wise, what is there is fairly clean, but obviously it could be that much better. Let's come in and measure Mikey to see just how tall he is. And he's coming in at just about five inches tall. Not super big, but you know, it scales pretty well with the other ones. We'll do some size comparisons like we did with the others, starting off with the NECA Toys Michelangelo cartoon version. Then we will throw in the NECA Toys Ultimate Monster Mummy Michelangelo. And then finally, we'll throw in the NECA Toys 90s movie Michelangelo. And I gotta say, they look pretty impressive together. We'll throw in Deadpool, just so you can get a standard Marvel Legends look as well. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I, I, I love the way that this guy looks. He's gonna look really good with my turtles no matter where they go, just needs a little bit more paint is all. Let's take a look at the articulation on this. First note is this is the most unique looking bandana of the four. The others, they had that long flowing one, whereas Mikey's is considerably shorter and smaller. And I kind of like it, I dig it. That is on a ball peg and you know, it has a decent range of motion, though I do anticipate that peg may break, but you know, it, it, it's still nice because you get two of them. His head is on a ball peg and really can't look up. That, that's not very good. He can look down a small amount. I would have expected a little bit more just with the sculpt on this. He can look side to side, though it does feel as though he starts to pull up in a specific direction, which is a little disappointing, but there is some tilt on here so you can get a little bit of emotion going in that articulation. Down in the shoulders, he's got a hinge and he can get his arm out about that much, which is decent. Uh, he can swivel that arm around. It feels like it's getting a little loose on mine, which uh, makes me a little nervous. He does have butterfly joints in those shoulders and he can get his hands together about that much. Not, not too bad. It could be better, maybe, but... Uh, with that shell getting in the way, I, I don't know, but it is nice having those butterfly joints so that we can get a little bit more range of motion. Down in the biceps, he has a bicep swivel that works. These arms are getting a little bit thinner, so I am a little bit worried that, you know, if you start kind of putting a lot of pressure on that, that it could break. He's got double jointed elbows. Those elbows are kind of ugly looking though. So, you know, same issue there, but they work pretty good. The wrists, same wrist issue. I'm, I'm not a huge fan. I do wish that these pegs were longer, at least double the length, but 
once you get them activated, they're not as bad as I was complaining originally, though I will say it could have been a little bit better. Down in the torso, he has a waist swivel, but you know, it, it doesn't do a lot, but it's not, it's not terrible. He is supposed to have a crunch, a, you know, a bit of a crunch. Can't really do much with it. I can't really get it to do anything. Down in the hips, he's got those T-jointed ball joints. That is awesome range of motion. He can kick his leg forward about that far. Not too bad. He can kick back a little bit. Um, not bad. It's a little ugly, but you know, it, it's still not too bad. The thigh swivel, you get a lot of break in that in that uh, sculpt, but it, it works pretty well. He's got double jointed knees. He can get them almost pretty much all the way in half, but again, very ugly looking. Um, not a fan of the way that that looks. I'd rather have the range of motion than it be really pretty looking and not very effective. Down in the ankle, he has a disc and he can get his foot back about that far. Not too bad, that's pretty good. And can't really get his foot forward all that much, which is a bit of a disappointment. And then he can have an ankle rocker, which works decent as well. So pretty much same story when it comes to his articulation. It is pretty good with a few minor flaws here and there. Before we jump into the accessories, let's take a look at the box. You guys all know I don't keep the boxes. I'm gonna throw these away. Here is the side, looks nice. We've got the back, looks nice. And the side again, also looks nice. And that's going to the garbage. Let's take a look at the accessories that come with this Michelangelo figure because I'm gonna say this particular one is the biggest disappointment. Not that they're bad, but you know, they could have been better. I do, however, like the bandanas. I like that we get a slightly more unique looking bandana. Uh, it's short and you know, to the point. I assume we get the two because we get the two heads and the two heads that we get are these two, which if we look at these pretty closely, um, they look nice. I like the angry one and I do like kind of the goofy one where he's winking. I don't love having the irises, but you know, they all have the irises. Uh, the teeth look good. You can see he's got a little bit of a tongue in there. That looks cool. So head sculpts, I'm happy with. They look very nice and they've got really nice detailing in the sculpt, just like all the others. Mikey also comes with four extra hands. We got a couple of open hands and then we've got a pointing finger hand and then it looks to be a fist hand. Would have loved to have gotten two fist hands, one for each side for all of the figures, but I believe only two of them even come with a fist hand. So that's a bit of a disappointment, but the sculpt work on them is very, very nice with the wraps on here. Just needed to have much longer pegs is all. And then let's talk about his weapons. These are the disappointments, in my opinion. So first off, he comes with his signature nunchucks and you know, they look nice enough. They're not super, you know, impressive or anything. But what I don't care for that much is the straps between them. They, they're, they're bendy, but they don't seem to actually have bendy wire in them. That is the first disappointment. Uh, the paint, you know, isn't that great. The second set are these, we'll just call them, what do we want to call these? We'll call them choppy McChop nuggets or something. I don't know. The, I, someone knows what the name of these things are. They look cool enough. The problem is, is the chain is just plastic and it's bendable, but they don't stay put. I would have really preferred just give us a chain, give us a real chain on this. Same with these, either give us a chain or give us a string. Uh, this, this plastic, it just, I'm worried that it's gonna break. Now, they do look really good. The knives look really nice on here. The paint is actually fairly clean where there is a little bit of paint. So, you know, I need to be careful about just how much I'm gonna complain, though I just don't like the ex execution right here, um, you know, such as life. Something that is nice is he does have weapon holding on his back. So you can slide his nunchucks right into these back pouches. 
no paint on them, but you know, it does work pretty well. And then we've got these right here, which I'm a little confused about these pouches because you know, you could slide these in. It doesn't seem like those are gonna go in. So is it meant for these? You can't really get these in here either. They're really rubbery, so they will bend quite a bit, but I'm not really sure what is supposed to go in here because it, it just won't fit unless, I mean, that that's dumb. So it's gotta be for these guys, but why would you just, why would you do one and it's so tight, unless I lost an, something, I don't understand these. I really don't understand these at all. So someone in the comments, let me know, am I missing something? Did I drop something? What did I lose? Because this doesn't make sense. They look cool, but we've got the pouches on the back. What are the front pouches? Somebody tell me what the front pouch is for. All wrong answers, please. And then the final, accessory that Mikey comes with is his little playing card type deal. It looks nice. I've gone over it a thousand times. I don't really care for the paper goods that much, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it is a nicely executed piece. So when you have all four of them together, you know, they look decent enough. So as far as a execution of a playing card style card, they look awesome. Just not really sure what I'm going to do with these when I put these up on my shelf. What is the final verdict on this particular Michelangelo figure and then the rest of the turtles themselves? This one is my weakest. I'm not as big of a fan of Mikey, though I don't hate it by any means. I, I enjoy it a lot. So for the entire series, I definitely recommend, if you're a Turtles fan, this is a great buy. This is a great set. I'm sure you'll be able to get them off of Amazon for a while longer or other toy suppliers. I'll leave a link for my affiliate links for each of the four. I'll get a small little, you know, like a few cents for each purchase. I very much appreciate that. Hopefully you guys will enjoy them as much as I am. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these guys. They are, you know, really awesome. So Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, all that jazz, and I will see you in the next video.